So you bought Red Giant Universe just for the outline effect, but now everyone's doing it so you can't do it anymore, and you still want to get your money's worth for the plugin. Well, this is the TV effect. It's a new outline effect. Everyone's doing it, so here's a quick tutorial. So for this effect, you're going to need Red Giant Universe, just like the outline effect in Ecto, except it's a little bit different. So I'm going to show you the effect first, because you can use it without having a mask. So the effect is called Hollow Matrix, Universe Hollow Matrix 2. Just drag that onto your clip, and boom, you have the TV effect. Uh, you can choose the preset. Uh, you can choose pretty much all these. All these are pretty cool. Blah, 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 blah. So if I choose this, it should change a little bit. And if I choose uh, this, it'll change. You guys get the gist. All right, so now if you want it to have the... Oh, I deleted it. But if you want to have the mask around him or him just have that effect, there's two ways you can do it. You're going to have to mask him out. If you want it a video, you're going to have to mask all around his edges. But if you just want like a single pop-up, uh, this is what you're going to have to do. So you're going to hold Alt on your keyboard and drag this up. And then say I want this part to be masked, just this like this picture of him. I'm going to right click on my top video right here. I'm going to click add frame hold. And then now the whole video will be like this. Now you want to make sure your top video is selected on the opacity tab on the effect controls. Opacity. Click this little pencil. And then you're just going to want to draw around him. Now I've seen a lot of bad masks recently in video. So make sure you guys are going inside him a little bit pause uh, and then it will look better than having a little bit contrast now i'm not doing a very good job because for the sake of time but obviously take your time on this and it'll look good and then so i'm just going to finish this up and then I, for this bottom part here like i said i'm just going to go below the screen and then i'm going to connect it right here and if we go about 10 percent, you can see it's a little bit below the screen and then I'm going to drag this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to click fit. So now what we want to do is we have a mask of him. So the video on the bottom layer is still going and he's still is the same, you know, the same picture, whatever. Now what we want to do now is just drag the effect onto the top layer again. And then now we'll have a pop-up. So this can be used as a transition or as an effect. So let's say if we have, let's say if I cut this part. And I want this here let me move this together so if I want this video to transition into this video we can have I do five frames so you see this top button right here well so it'll be like this sorry it'll look like this right the transition and then it'll go into this one two three so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my previous video which is this one and I'm gonna go five frames back from this little cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not five, but yeah. I'm gonna drag this all the way over here. And then once it cuts, I'm just gonna split this top clip, delete the rest. So if you look at it now, and then we'll have the like a pop-up transition, which is too fast. So I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit. And then we'll have that TV effect to a transition pop up. So if you look at the whole thing, it'll pop up and then go into that. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. All right, so Vegas Pro. Like I said earlier, you're gonna need the Red Giant Universe, you're gonna need a Red Giant Universe plugin. If you already have the Ecto effect and the outline effect, if you already did that, you should have it. It's the same plugin and yada, yada, yada. So get that and you can come get it. So I'm going to show you the effect first because the effect by itself is pretty cool and I see a lot of people use it. It's called Universe Hollow Matrix 2. So just look up hollow and it should come up. Drag this on to your clip and then you'll have this effect. Now you can choose the different presets. They have a lot of presets and they're all pretty cool. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you guys can check this out for yourself. And you'll have you know TV effect. All right, so let me turn this off. So I'm going to show you the pop-up transition. It's just like every other pop-up transi transition there is. You're going to need masking and two hard cuts. So here's my transition from this clip to this clip. So I'm going to go to the first frame of this clip here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to turn it to best full. Make sure you do that before you click this little button. I'm going to click this little button here, this disk, save, save snapshot file. Uh, I'm just going to save this here. I'm going to click OK. 
and now it'll put it into your project settings. Now all you have to do is drag this onto your second clip and I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. I'm gonna zoom in and then all I have to do now, make sure this is lined up to that. Yep, all I have to do, do now is mask this clip. So I'm gonna click this little pan and crop button right here. And I'm gonna click on mask, make sure that is selected. Click on this little pencil zoom in and I'm just going to create a rough mask around him. Now I've seen a lot of bad masks recently so make sure you guys are taking your time on your masks and there isn't any background in the scene. If It's better to have less of him than more of him if that makes sense or like you know it's better to have less of him show than the background show. So I'm just going to do that really bad but you know like I said take your time. Um, there you go. And so now if you scrub through the video, we should have a pop-up of him while the video is going. So now what we want to do is we want to drag the, go back to our video effects, drag the hollow matrix effect onto our pop-up. It'll be like this. And then sometimes this happens where the mask, where it'll affect the whole thing except the mask. All you have to do is click on disable time effects and then it'll just be the mask. I didn't say that for the Premiere Pro tutorial, but you know, they can suffer whatever. So now what we want to do is we're going to have the same same thing as every pop-up transition. You want to go about depends on depending on your frame rate, uh just go about 10, you know, sometimes 20, sometimes 5 frames back. Drag this to over here and then I'm going to drag this to the end of this. So now if we look, I'm just going to cut this first frame off. Okay, so if you look at it now, it'll be a pop-up like that. So just don't render that part. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much a pop-up transition with the TV effect. Dang, Vegas.